Good morning, everyone. We're going to just get one more minute before our live starts. Okay. Good morning. We're coming to you live from Clark's Hub City Pharmacy. We are a local independent compounding pharmacy located here in Lubbock, Texas. Uh, my name is Katie. I'm our lead compounding technician. I've been a tech for 16 years, compounding for the last eight, and I've been with Clark's for the past three years. Um, last year, we were able to convert part of our pharmacy to include our new non-sterile compound lab, which is able, uh, which makes it able for us to provide our patients a more personalized medication experience. Because of the growth that we have seen in our last year compounding, we decided to take the opportunity to educate our community on what compounding exactly is and when a compounded medication would be right for you. So to start that off, what is compounding? A uh, very brief description, compounding is the process of combining, mixing, or changing ingredients to create a medication that's tailored to the needs of one specific person. Uh, when compounding would be right for you, number one is when your first therapy does not work. Number two is a commercially available medication, commercially a commercial medication is not available or affordable. Uh, three, you can't take the commercial product due to allergy or dietary restrictions. And four, you want to combine two or more medications into one medication. This week in honor of Mother's Day coming up, <clears throat> which is Sunday, people, buy gifts now. We want to discuss compounds we make for our OBGYN patients. OBGYN OB doctors are doctors who specialize in female reproductive health. So we see compounds for anything from pregnancy and sex to infertility and reproductive health. Uh, so usually we're going to start this off by talking about hormone imbalances because that's a pretty common um, issue that we deal with. And that can unfortunately cause a ton of symptoms, including weight loss or weight gain, chronic fatigue, hair loss, problems with blood sugar or thyroid levels, insomnia, and infertility, just to name the main ones that we see. Typically what we'll do is we'll treat these with oral or topical hormone therapy, whether that is a progesterone, testosterone, all of the hormones. Uh, next, we're gonna move on to pregnancy, which is another popular category that we compound for. Typically, it's the beginning of pregnancy when you're having a lot of nausea and vomiting. And so we have a couple of examples of what we make here. Uh, we actually collaborated with Women's Health Associates and doc with Dr. Bell Henry and Bookout to create two uh, personal recipes, formulas of medications that we can make for um, pregnant people. Uh, the first one is the Bump Balm. This is a lip balm and uh, each dose is measured out. It's a half of or a quarter of an ml for each pump. I'm actually not going to use this one because it um, does have medication in it, but it's a really pretty little red. They can apply it and uh, they apply specifically to the inside of the lip. Um, and it tastes really good, unlike some other medications. Uh, the next thing we made with Dr. Bookout and Dr. Bell Henry are the bumplets. These are just trochies that also have anti-nausea medications that we formulated with them. Um, they're just a really easy kind of chewable tablet. Um, they also can be dispensed in these lockable ones. And once you push this in, it locks it and seals it so it's childproof, especially if you have young ones running around. Uh, you don't want them getting into it thinking it's candy. So we have a solution for that as well. Uh, the last thing we've started making are these lollipops. And we have two ways of dispensing them, again, for childproofing purposes. If it's just a vitamin lollipop, it's probably not gonna hurt the baby or children or anything that can get into it. So we'll dispense it like this with just a little wrapper around it to keep it clean. If it does have medication in it, for instance, um, like the bump balms and stuff with the anti-nausea medications. We have this childproof container that of course I can't open. Yep. 
and you can get out your lollipop that way. <clears throat> uh, if you cannot keep anything down and you've tried all other forms, we do also make a transdermal nausea cream that you just apply right to, your in, to the inside of your wrist. Um, it would come in something similar to this. This is our Unidose. Each click, again, like the Bump Balm, is um, a measured dose. It's a quarter of an ml, so if you're applying an ml, you would do four clicks. I'm just gonna do a quarter of a one. It comes out the top like this so that you can just apply it. This is just cream, no medication, which is why I'm able to apply it. And you rub it in, like so. That way it absorbs transdermally into your bloodstream, and uh, you don't have to worry about taking anything or throwing it up. Uh, and you get the medication dosage that way. Uh, after birth, we see a lot of creams, uh, a lot of compounds for nipple cream, for chapping nipples or mastitis in the breastfeeding patients. We can also provide suppositories for uh, hemorrhoids. There's two different suppositories that we make here. Um, we make the traditional ones, which come dispensed in a wrapper, so you do have to unwrap this. Just a friendly reminder from somebody who's seen a lot of that over the years. We don't usually color the suppositories. We just did that for example purposes today. Um, okay, so these are the two suppositories that you will see. This is going to be the regular size, um, just made to go and be inserted either vaginally or rectally. The next one is um, called a rectal rocket or a super suppository. It looks a little intimidating, especially when you compare the sizes, but this one is specifically made so that it treats the inside and then this part stays out as well. So if you're treating uh, like hemorrhoids on the outside, you can treat them at the same time. You don't have to use a cream and a suppository. Um, <clears throat> continuing on with hormone imbalances because that can be something you deal with uh, throughout the rest of your life. Um, we also can see compounds for female sexual dysfunction. Typically, we'll provide a low dose uh, naltrexone, or no, excuse me, a low dose testosterone cream, or like a female libido cream. Well, um, yeah. So, we also see chronic migraines, uh, vaginal pains, and spasms, which we usually treat with suppositories like with diazepam, something like that. We see a lot of chronic UTI and bacterial vaginosis. Treat those with, for example, boric acid suppositories. Um, if you are using, we do some estradiol uh, creams that are vaginal creams. And when we get those, this is another applicator that you'll see. It's our Toppy Click Pearl. It just has like a little clamshell on the front. This one is kind of designed so that you don't have to use uh, your fingers to apply it. <clears throat> There's only one little bump on the top right here that's made to house the vaginal applicator and it's the same dosing the half of an ml for each click. So say you're applying four mls, you would just click that. There's that little dosage in there. You remove this and insert. Hands free, you don't get any mess. And um, yeah, that's that. If you are interested um, in what compounding solutions we can offer you, please reach out to us. Uh, you can message us on Facebook, you can email us, call us, and we can even reach out to your provider on your behalf to discuss what options would be right for you. If you are on any other social media platforms, please check out our other pages. We are on Instagram, um, that is Hub City Pharmacy LBK. We're also on TikTok which is Clark's Hub City Pharmacy. Clark's is spelled C-L-A-R-X. Thank you for watching. Tune in to our next live event on Monday, May 16th, when we discuss summertime and what compounds we recommend during this time of year. Have a good day.